Man United star Jesse Lingard in talks with four clubs including PSG, as exit looms. Manchester United star Jesse Lingard is in talks with four clubs as his departure from Old Trafford looms, according to reports. Paris Saint-Germain are one of the teams chasing the England international, while Newcastle remain interested despite missing out on a deal in January. But any move to the capital isn't guaranteed as his departure creeps closer. Lingard has no intention of hanging around at United after enduring a troublesome season under both Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Rangnick. And, now, the Daily Mail say he's in talks with four teams including PSG and Newcastle, but that doesn't include West Ham. In January 2021, Lingard left the Red Devils temporarily to play under David Moyes at the London Stadium. And he was a huge hit with the Hammers, scoring nine goals and clocking up four assists from 16 Premier League matches. West Ham were keen to land Lingard permanently a year ago. But they missed out on the 29-year-old, with Solskjaer making it clear he'd get chances at Old Trafford. Eric Ten Hag. Man United S25 man squad for next season with six signings instead, Lingard is talking to Newcastle about a potential summer switch to Tyneside. Eddie Howe's side will be in the Premier League next season, after a January spending spree saved them from a relegation dogfight. Newcastle had hoped to add Lingard to their squad in the new year, only for United to again block a departure. Despite that, however, they remain keen to acquire the services of the United star as his time with the club winds down. As well as Newcastle, Lingard is also in discussions with PSG. The League One giants have utilized the free agent market in recent years, snapping up the likes of Sergio Ramos, Lionel Messi and Gianluigi Donnarumma last year. Don't miss Ten Hag's 10 transfer targets at Man United, explained Anthony comments suggest Ten Hag reunion at Man United, is possible Man United have five players who can be amazing under Ten Hag, and PSG are in the mix to sign Lingard and bring him to the Parc des Princes at the end of the season. AC Milan and Juventus are the other teams probing a deal for the United Academy graduate. Milan are set to have new owners in charge and have already qualified for next season's Champions League. Juventus, meanwhile, are looking at reinforcements as they look to claim the Scudetto under Massimiliano Allegri next term. And where Lingard goes remains to be seen. He was recently left unhappy with Rangnick after the German left him on the bench for the entirety of their 3-0 win over Brentford last week. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz that triggered a fiery Instagram post from his brother, Louis Scott, who slammed Rangnick for his snub. However, the German then proceeded to explain himself by saying, to start with, I think in the last couple of weeks under my tenure, he has played far more games than he used to before I came. Number 2. On game day against Chelsea, he contacted me in the hotel and asked me to release him from the game and to also release him from the training session the following day and two days after the Chelsea game for personal family reasons. And I also allowed him to do that. And this was the reason with only three subs, unfortunately in the other leagues you have five subs I had to take a decision between bringing on Edinson Cavani or Jesse Lingard, or even the young Alejandro Garnacho, whom I would have loved to have brought on and given a chance after going 3-0 up with 15 minutes to play. But I took the decision to bring on Edinson for the very reasons I just explained to you. Want the latest football news? Join our brand new Facebook group by clicking here, had I not brought on someone maybe someone else might have posted it was classless not to bring on Edinson Cavani, or somebody else might have posted why didn't the manager bring on the young Alejandro Garnacho. With only three subs and two already done, you have to take a decision, and this will not be to the liking of everybody, this is also part of the game. To be honest, I'm not reading a lot, I've not had the time in the last six months to read, I'm not Instagram, as you know, I'm not on Facebook, I'm not engaged in those areas. My focus has always been here, with my coaching staff, to develop the team. In those days with social media, there is always somebody posting something, and it's important for us at the club not to take too much notice of that. Unless it's the player himself, 